everyone welcome back to my channel i am scorpio simmer where i make sims and um, reviews and top tens now today i'm going to be reviewing shots of sunset we are now on season five episode four are we out of the woods yet now i am back with the reviews hopefully i can review the rest of the season i've been watching along with the rest of you all and this show has been giving some goodness, but I still, I miss reviewing Love and Hip Hop Atlanta though. It has been giving life, even though it has, the, the episode before last week has been losing some life luster. So, Gigi has changed drastically. Her RA has made her weak. Asa comes to visit her and they're eating and talking. MJ and Gigi aren't getting along anymore and Gigi wants to go camping um, not um, Merce, MJ wants to revamp her real estate career she wants to give her clients I guess I should know what this is business cards she wants to show condos the business cards they're they she picks black and gold and they look beautiful okay i will admit it's kind of hard because now we see mike and jessica and they're in their kitchen and she's making him i believe breakfast and it's kind of hard knowing now mike and jessica aren't really together anymore but his wife just bought a new tea set and they just keep keep spending money like that on things especially you know they're because he's trying to uh, Mike's trying to have this new business and she just keeps spending money and there might be a, there might have been the downfall to their marriage but I don't know and then we see Asa you know she's just thriving in her business just so proud and Asa wants to be a defined business and be in one to three stores and just thrive 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 and they've been through a, she's talking about her family now like how they had to escape more than once and everything they've been through from germany i believe and everything they've been through and then mj is co-mayor or something like that of drag drag bingo for the night and i just love the style of shots of sunset and dress to impress and then asa did also know the rules of bingo she said she never really played so that's okay i get it and isn't the goal to get bingo when i was younger i didn't really know because when i was younger they had like these little circle things that you just but you get like oh bingo and like that and then mike and reza meet talk about his married life and all this other stuff that i don't really like to talk about on my channel because you know, I have like all types of different age groups on my channel, so I don't really talk about that. And then they talk about Gigi. They're worried about her, and I'm worried for her too as a viewer. The reckless drinking has to stop even as she is in pain from her RA. And then Reza goes into this place to get something to protect himself from Gigi. He says that she's semi violent. So I don't think she's semi-violent. I just think that she's going through some things. And then the guy suggests a taser. I was like, oh, okay, a taser. Okay, let's just take a few steps back. Just a few steps back, okay, from that. Because the taser is just going too far. And then the camera goes into some handcuffs. Why would they need handcuffs for? To handcuff her to a tree? Or handcuff her to... A bench or something I don't know I don't know MJ MJ is in heaven then we see MJ and Shervin they're talking and talking about the camping trip MJ isn't having it and maybe she'll go but of course she's gonna go and then um, we see Asa and her mom and her dad and they're having the photo shoot and her mom she's so sweet and the keeps telling the girls do this and do that and she's Asa's like mom you get out of the picture you're interrupting but the pictures come out looking very very beautiful <clears throat> and then we finally see the RV and Reza's kind of complaining like oh the 
I thought we we're gonna be in like some kind of tour bus or a party bus kind of thing, but it's like this real like RV. Like if you've seen The Simple Life, um, Paris Hilton, I, I know I'm going like way back, like almost 10 years ago, way back, 2006. There's something kind of, well not, they didn't really have an RV. They had like a, well yeah, they kind of had like a little RV thing, something like that. And they had that everywhere to look like sparkling gold. Like, hello, deal with the rest get rustic. If it were a tour bus, it wouldn't be camping. You then you wouldn't need to be in a tent. If it were really, really big enough for all of them, for all five or six of them to fit, then they wouldn't need a tent. And then when Golosa said, like, oh, I'm driving, everyone seemed. Well, not everyone. Everyone seemed shocked and scared. And then, okay, this part kind of made me laugh. So Reza pulls out this dew drop. I guess it's this thing that puts fake crap in the toilet. <laughs> okay, so he puts it in there and it was just really gross and disgusting. It was funny and nasty at the same time. So then Asa goes in there. She was like, Asa said, who did that? And then Reza was like, I didn't do it. And then all of a sudden, the smell just went all around the thing and stuff like that. It was just crazy. But then I was laughing so hard because it just stunk up the whole RV. <laughs> it was still funny. But ooh, the security came and they almost got in trouble for Reza's prank. Guess it wasn't such a funny prank after all. And then they made it to the campsite and they're settling up the tents. Everyone is getting along. Reza thanks Gigi for bringing, I think it was either Reza or Mike, I can't remember right now. Even though I just finished watching it like an hour ago. I mean, almost, not an hour ago, like 30 minutes ago. And next week on Shaza Sunset, I think it was Reza that goes into her purse and sees either a pregnancy test that said and says, Oh my, MJ's pregnant. And that is a big shocker. So we get to see that she's pregnant, but something trickles down. I don't know if she's still pregnant now. So we'll get to see. So thank you for watching Zodiacs and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Or possibly Tuesday for the Love and Hip Hop Atlanta review. So bye.